All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today we're taking a look at the Imperial Alpha Cap. This is uh, one of their new caps out of the lab series, and uh, we'll just start with the back. So you can see this is perforated, pretty cool. You can see a slight pattern to that. It goes, you know, small, this sends up to big, and then goes back down to small. Kind of cool, and you can see quite a bit of this is perforated. I mean, almost half that material is perforated, but it, it's not like mesh. This has got a little bit of structure to it. This is different from uh, most things that you see today on the market. It's kind of cool. And check out this. Uh, it's like an, a Velcro adjustable here. So that's all rubber. That's a little bit different than what you see in the market today where these are all hard plastic. Um, you can feel this is different. This has rubber to it. And... Nice touch with the Imperial logo there on the on the end, the circle matching that half circle cut at the end. And with this material, sometimes when you get two pieces like that connecting, over time they kind of kind of get messed up and stuff gets you know caught up in it and all that. Well, this is a little different. I haven't seen this before. These are really um, sturdy. Those are not going to break. And over time, they're going to continue to grab. So I think you'll like that. You know, if you want to check this hat out, that's a good feature as well. The perforation, you'll notice, goes, you know, side panel, back panels. Turn this guy around. And look at this. Even comes into the front. So you don't see that too often as well. That's a little bit different, right? So all this speaks to breathability of this uh, piece of headwear. It's kind of nice. Then we'll come around and take a look at the front. So this is interesting. This hat is sturdy, right? It's, it's sturdy, but it's also got some play to it. But check this out. This seam right here, this is super sturdy. Right? And it pops back in. You can hear it. You hear that? So that pops back in. So with that right there, I mean, that's almost an immediate decoration decision. If you're going to decorate across the front of this hat, which, you know, most most people are, you know, you have a variety of options. And I, I brought a couple to this video. I brought, there's a piece of leather that this is sitting on. This is a two to three ounce piece of saddle tan leather. You can see it's got a real smooth, waxy type surface. And, surface. and this is really nice if you're going to make a, a patch that maybe you're going to place down here, right? A small lower left front panel kind of design. I would not, you, you can see, and this is really thin. See how thin that is? I would not recommend you take that type of material and go across the center, right? And the reason being is when you go to apply this leather and push it onto the hat, it's probably going to, you know, that's a sturdy seam. So it's going to push right into that. And you're going to wind up with your design going right into the seam. It's going to be a little unsightly for the brand, and it's just not going to look that great. So I would choose a thicker piece of leather, and I brought, you know, just a, sw a swatch here of, uh, this is chestnut, right? You can see this is much thicker, right? That's not going to happen. You're not going to get a piece of five ounce, this is five ounce leather. You're not going to see that get pushed into that seam. And so you're gonna do right by the brand by decorating it correctly. It's just a it's just a decoration decision you need to be aware of up front, something we take a close look at. I also brought a, a twill, sublimated twill patch. So you can see that here, All right? I would not choose to put something like this on that hat as well, unless I had a thick backing. And the reason for that is take a look at this. Pretty thin, right? And that's got some commercial grade adhesive on the back. You can kind of see it shine in there. And, and it, it'll stick permanently. You know, this thing will never come off unless you, like, get a pair of pliers and take it to it. But uh, that's going to sink right into the, the seam as well. And, you know, you're just not going to want to do that on your design. So what I would recommend is a thicker piece of material, decorate in the center, thin me thin piece of material off to the side, 
If you come around on the side of this hat, you're also going to notice that Imperial's got, you know, their branding right here. It looks kind of cool. It's subtle, small. So I would avoid decorating right here next to it. I would opt for the other side, right? So you can put a tagline here. You can put a flag here. You can even come over here and get the back quarter panel down here. Or you can go over the uh, opening on the back, which is kind of nice, All right? So let's take a look at the inside. Um, we've got this nice uh, branded sleeve in here for Imperial. We don't normally see these. Normally they're plain cardboard, so nice touch. I like that. Um, that stands out right away, right? They've got their logo on a woven tag that's a little bit different than the rest of the inside. And they've got that red button, which is the bottom of this button here at the top of the hat. Very nice. The other thing you want to take note of on the inside of this hat, so this hat has got some unique properties to it. They call it uh, New Yarn inside here. And this headband right here is made with merino wool. I'm just going to zoom in on it. And I will tell you, this material is super soft. So if you're looking for a soft material for your forehead, um, you know, some of the other materials irritate your skin. Uh, take a look at this. It's pretty nice. It's super soft. And um, let me see here. They talk about some of the some of the features. It comes here on the tag. I won't read it all to you. You can kind of see it. Let me get the light off there. Yeah, there's the New Yarn Performance Merino Wool Sweatband. So what I've read about this is it's a little unique in that it works two ways. During the warm days, it is designed to pull the moisture and heat away from you, which is great, right? Everybody kind of wants that. And during the cold days, it is supposed to trap that in and keep keep you warm. So I'm looking to try that. I mean, I obviously, I live in Florida, so I can certainly test it out for the hot. It's going to be a while before we get to test it for the cold, but I'm going to make this hat. I'll put something on there and try this. I'm looking forward to, to seeing exactly how that holds up because that's an interesting uh, feature that I've not seen on, on too many hats. And one last thing I want to point out on this hat uh, before I wrap this up is this under visor. So you can see it's gray. And I've been wearing hats for a long time. I've got fair skin. I live in the sun. You know, I'm here in Florida. And I've noticed um, with particular hats over, you know, 30, 40 years of wearing hats is if they've got a gray under visor or even a green under visor, I prefer the green, but gray and green for whatever reason seem to help with the glare around the eyes. So my eyes don't, uh, you know, they're adjusted a little bit differently to these colors. I'm not sure why. I'm sure it has something to do with the color. Um, but I like it. So I like seeing the gray underneath here. Um, I don't know if you've noticed the same, but certainly works for me. And I, I've seen it stated, you know, in other places, but I've never really seen the reason why. So I guess I should uh, research that a little bit and kind of figure that out. Anyway, this is the Imperial Alpha Cap. So once I get it decorated, I'll be happy to show you the outcome. I hope you like it.